All servers should arrive 15 to 20 minutes before Mass starts, so you have time to get ready. First things first, verify that you have the right Mass schedule. Look for your last name and the date. Write your name on the line next to the Mass time you're serving for. Putting on your robes. Make sure it's the right size and it's velcroed correctly. Lighting the candles. Matches can be found right here, and please put all used matches on the metal plate. Light left and right candles. Mass begins. You proceed down the aisle with your candle. Make sure that you and your other altar server don't go ahead of the person with the cross. Get to the stairs. Let the person carrying the cross move in front of you. Then walk to the stairs and stop. Make sure there is plenty of room for the priest to go between both altar servers. After Father bows, walk up behind him and place the candles next to the lectern. Now go to the pew reserved for you. When the priest says, let us pray, bring up the book and let the priest open the book to the right page. Make sure you have the book high so that the priest doesn't have to bend down and look over as much. Now, walk back to your seat. Don't forget to participate in Mass, and you are allowed to use the books on the end of your pew so you can sing along with everyone else. Those books are specifically for you. An example of participating in the Mass is the Alleluia. Now you need to set up the altar. You start by moving the candles from the lectern to the sides of the altar. Make sure you don't forget to grab the plastic holder that holds the book in the beginning. When you get to the small table, you will see a big book. Place this book on the left side of the altar. Now, place all the wine glasses in the center. When you are done, you can wait by the small table or you can wait by the pew. When you see Father stand, get ready to follow him to the stairs. Some priests go over to the altar and arrange it the way they like it. Make sure that each altar server stands on either side of him.
Father will give you the gifts of bread and wine. You must bring these gifts up to the altar and wait for Father. The priest will first take the bread, then he will take the wine. If you want to make things easier for the priest, get the water after the bread and take it to him. The person with the wine can now go and get the bowl and towel. Now, both altar servers are ready to pour water on Father's hands. When you pour the water, pour a little bit on his hands and have the towel ready for him to grab it. Sometimes the priest will even fold the towel for you. Once you're done with that, put the towel, bowl, and water and place them on the table. Go back to the pew. Stay standing because Father will call everyone up in just a minute. Don't forget to hold hands. Also, make sure to give the sign of peace and give it to everyone around you. Make sure you kneel when others do. The altar servers kneel on the stairs. When the Eucharistic ministers walk up, so should you. Also, make sure there is plenty of space for everyone. Now Father is giving the bread to everyone. He starts with the pianist and then the cantor, following with everyone else. Now Father will pass out the wine. He will give the chalices to several people, so wait until it is our turn to receive it.
Once both altar servers have received the bread and the wine, go to the pew. You can also sing from the books if you like. Again, when the priest says, let us pray, you bring the book up and let him turn to the page. Wait for Father to go towards the front, grab the candles, and stay by the stairs until Father turns around. Remember, don't bow with Father, because otherwise, you'll get a candle in your face. Now, you can proceed towards the back of the church. Don't forget to return the candles and make sure your robes are properly put back as they once were. I hope you enjoy altar serving. It can be a lot of fun.